Hello everyone. Welcome to LaTeX Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, as well as configure the latest version of the TextMaker software. Please note, in my previous video, I have illustrated how to install the latest version of the MicTex software. This video is a continuation of that and the software I'll be installing here will be the front end for all the LaTeX executions. Therefore, I highly recommend you to kindly watch that video first before you continue with this video. If you already have watched that, let us continue. To start with, go to Google and search for latest text maker. In the search results here, click on the very first link that is shown, which is download text maker. In the text maker website, scroll down, select your operating system. Mine is Windows, so I'll select on that. And here you have text maker 5.1.3 download option. Click on it to start the download. Once the download is complete, go to the downloads. This is the downloaded TextMaker software. Click on this to run the same. In this window, click on this checkbox to accept the license agreement. Then click on install. Once the installation is done, uncheck the checkbox here and click on finish. Well, that completes the downloading and installation of the TextMaker. Let us now talk about configuring the same. Go to your programs, open TextMaker, which is shown at the top here. Right, this is the TextMaker interface. Here, go to the options menu, click on configure TextMaker. Down here in the commands menu, make sure the PDF LaTeX file is properly addressed. That is, this part here should show the exact address of the PDF LaTeX.exe. If this space does not display the exact address of the PDF LaTeX.exe file, then down here you search for PDF LaTeX.exe, copy the address of the same, come back to this location and paste it here and then append slash PDF LaTeX.exe. Everything should be put within double quotes. This is very important to make sure the LaTeX files correctly run using the text maker. Once this is done, come to the second menu here, which is quick build. Here you have multiple build options. I would prefer having the second one because it also involves PDF LaTeX plus Bib LaTeX. That is, if you have a bibliography file, then the text maker will identify and process the bibliography files to create the PDF. Now coming back to the commands menu, if you want the PDF to be shown within the same window as that of your LaTeX file, then make sure you have clicked on built-in viewer. On the other hand, if you want your PDF to be shown as a separate window, then you have to click on the external viewer. I would prefer to have the built-in viewer because then I can see both the text as well as the PDF files in the same window. So select this and then press OK. Right. That completes the downloading, installing, as well as configuring the TextMaker software. Let us now verify whether the installation was successful. And to verify, I'll be creating a new file here. Let me create a very simple LaTeX document. Right, this is a very simple document. Save it. Once it is saved, come back here there is a run icon, click on it to compile the file. You see the process here indicates whether the compilation has started or not. You can see that there are no error messages here. Then you come back here and click on the view PDF option. Okay, so this is our PDF. You can see in this simple LaTeX file I constructed, I just had one line text which was hello world. And you can see that we have now created a PDF file which has the same text. Lastly, if you want to share this PDF, you have to go back to the location of this LaTeX file. This is the location of the LaTeX file. 
you can see that there is a file by the name ex1.pdf ex1.tex is our text file and this is our pdf file double click to open it right you can see we have now the pdf file itself well that means we have correctly installed as well as configured the text maker software well that is about this video if you found this video to be informative kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information and latex tutorials thank you for watching have a good day